Lots of people say there's no evidence for God. Well, we're going to knock that one out in three. I'm just going to have to keep it simple, throw in the old one-two combo, get in and out real quick, and let you fine folks chat all about it, okay? Punch one I'm going to call the Info Uppercut. When's the last time you walked into a library and asked, hey, where are all the books that have been written by mindless products of natural laws? The librarian would probably laugh at you and tell you that no such books exist. They don't exist because they can't exist. Why not? Because first of all, it's just common sense. The words that form the message in books always originate from a person with a brain. Or to say it a bit more scientific, Typically, the message of the book, the purpose, comes to be understood by the orderly placement of the words, design, and information. Ah, information. Now, anytime we find info, these basic laws always apply. Number one, matter doesn't spontaneously produce information. Uh, number two, only a mental source, intelligence, can generate new creative information. In other words, just like those books that couldn't originate without a mind, neither could life. Why not, you ask? Because we know that DNA contains information. Therefore, the laws of information science apply, which means the information in DNA couldn't have spontaneously generated and that a mind is behind the information. Period. No exceptions. Look at it this way. The simplest life form we know of is an amoeba, and it contains as much information in its DNA as a thousand complete sets of Encyclopedia Britannica. So, are we to believe that there's no way a message in a library book could spontaneously generate, but far more complicated messages in DNA that contain a thousand times more information could have? Not likely. You see, when it comes to life or anything else that contains information, the laws of information science confirm the necessity of a creative mind. And guess what? In the very first book of the Bible, it just happens to mention that. In the beginning, God created. Bam! Uppercut lands on the chin. And now here comes the indefensible head blow. We'll call this the not a big bang bing swing, the KO to the claim that there's no evidence of God, the law of causality left hook a doom. It goes like this. Everything that had a beginning had a cause. The universe had a beginning, therefore the universe had a cause. Now, either something caused the universe to come into existence, or nothing caused it. Huh. I might not be the smartest guy behind the telescope, but honest, practical, everyday thinking's gonna lead me to the former. You have to work pretty hard to conjure up a way that nothing did it. You see, it's pretty improbable, nigh impossible, to account for design, information, and cause if the universe just exploded from nothing. Smack! And while we're on the topic, where did the matter come from that exploded? Are we really to believe that there was nothing and then it exploded, and now the exploded nothing is something, and we just happen to be smart enough to discover and understand the very laws that prove the opposite? And if the general understanding of the law of cause and effect is true, how can matter come from a lesser cause like nothing. I mean, come on. I don't have a bunch of letters after my name, but even a monkey knows better. And yeah, I snuck in a couple of extra jabs in there, so sue me. Now for some parting words from our sponsor, the Bible. It tells us in Romans 1.20 that since the creation of the world, God's invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so they are without excuse. It also says that people actually know the truth, but they reject it, which explains why even though there's overwhelming evidence that there is a God, evidence won't convince the unwilling. Sad but true. So there you have it. With just a couple of meaningful blows, the claim that there is no evidence for God God is down for the count, me amigos. In other words, it's been debunked. Adios.